Virgo is like I be having a lot of thoughts in my head and they be feeling really scrambled. I haven't really decided if I want to call you Sol or Soler. I will see you later! Or like in literally five minutes. Applying with conviction and shit too like that. 2023 is personal! <laughs> but I've been calling me Soleil. Anyway, she is dry. Sis is dry. So, um, we're gonna water her. Always nice to have fresh flowers, plants. My dream is really to have a whole bunch of plants in my apartment, but I'm practicing because I have a tendency to not really be able to keep, um, my plants alive. So, with Saul, what I've been doing is basically, like, I actually talked to her. So, really, I should have watered her yesterday, but I was like, girl, we gotta film this. So, can you just wait? Like, you're doing so good. Um, lots of sunlight. And basically what I do is just, like, check on her periodically, as opposed to following a specific schedule. Because when I've done that in the past, it didn't really work. <laughs> so, um, with Saul, what I've been doing is just, like, Oh, you're dry? Okay. And then now what I'm going to do is basically soak her true. So I actually also promised her that I would like just spray her down a little bit. So I'm going to use this, you know, to mimic rainfall. This without making a mess. Without making a mess. Yes, you're getting a little bad, baby girl. Okay, so we gave her a little bath. I think she likes it because she was a little ashy. So now what we're gonna do is basically actually water the root area. I'm talking like I know something about horticulture or like gardening. I really don't. But like I said, this is like an experiment. So basically I just like drench it, which I guess people would probably say not to do. So, but I think if I show you, you can kind of see the water. Right? Can you see that? Okay, yeah, I think you can see it. So now what I'm gonna do is just let it soak through. So I'm gonna have her just sit in the sink until it's soaked through, because what you don't want to happen is putting it back in the, um, the heck is that? What, what? what you don't want to happen is that you put it back in the plant holder and then there's just water accumulating under there because like bacteria and stuff and probably mold i don't know i just know that you don't want water just like down there if that makes sense i'm sure it makes sense to someone we gotta really consult with the professional we about to sign in for therapy let's see if she's camera shy we're gonna see <laughs> if she'll be down to get into the vlog my hands are so ashy i just i need it to be summer um so i'm filming a vlog today um is it okay if i get like a shot of um our session not like it won't actually be us talking the whole time but i just literally take well i wanted to get a shot like literally just that i'm like talking to someone do you know what i mean yeah just because like i can get out the way and then you can act. okay cool one second i'm just gonna literally put my tripod there and then yeah so here we are um and I also have notes for today. And 
the therapy is done. I have to figure out how to blur out um, my therapist's face because she was like, remember the confidentiality? I was like, you right. Anyway, um, today was good. So um, that's it. Next up, you'll see. So basically what I'm doing right now is mapping out my day. <laughs> it's a little late for that, it's almost 1.30, but that's okay. It's this new thing that I've been doing. My therapist actually recommended it last week. So let's see if you can see that. So here's today. I'm not quite done yet, but I just figured I'd share this because I think it's a really great tool. Let's do this a different way. Okay, yeah, so like I was saying, this is something that my therapist suggested and I've been liking it I think it's really been helping me just because I've been having a lot of thoughts in my head and I'd be feeling really scrambled and time management is something that I'm really working to improve on to make it a stronger suit of mine it's just hasn't been that strong anyway okay so let's look at this can you see and can you see me great okay so you start with the focus the day of the week so you know whatever this was from Thursday Thursday's focus and then the date and then I also track my water each tick mark is a liter of water I actually got to five yesterday, but I think I stopped counting anyway um, Okay, so let's get into the rest. All right So basically you have your top priority first So it that's the thing that you got to do before you go to sleep No matter what you got to have that top priority like I said I didn't actually finish the one for today because I have to run but I wanted to still show you this before I get out of here and we go outside. Then you list your goals. So those goals could be like in general, I've been doing it kind of like weekly, monthly type of goals. So for me, my goals, which pretty much will be the same for a while, um, post every day to YouTube, every day of February, monetized March 31st. So I actually wrote that as a affirmation. I am monetized. By March 31st, I'm monetized. And then I also wrote get back to posting on TikTok. So. I'm just, my deadline for that is this month. This month I'm gonna get back to posting on TikTok consistently. Then you have your personal tasks, right? So you can see the personal tasks. I never actually got to the nap, but that's okay. Um, let's see what else. Then you have your work tasks, quite a bit. I don't know that I finished all of them, but it also doesn't matter. Like it's just really, I think what's been super useful about this is that it really helps me to break down everything that I have to do into categories. Um, and it's a lot easier to like think about everything and to think about how I'm moving through the day I know a lot of people use time blocking. That's never worked for me I can time block a whole schedule and I won't follow it at all So this has been helpful because I'm very much like a flowy person um, So for all my like people that are very flowy that Pisces type energy I'm not a Pisces. I'm actually Sagittarius, but I'm a Pisces rising so I come off like a Pisces and I do uh often exhibit that type of energy and experience that type of energy um pisces are also very like anti-structure <laughs> they're like the opposite of virgo virgo is like structure <laughs> so oftentimes it can be some place where you struggle depending on how the rest of your chart is anyway this has like really helped with my mind because your brain and your mind are the same thing that's topic for another day anyway it's really helped with my mind um and it's helped with my creativity too i think anyway back to it so the other thing that you want to log is self-care um so for me that's like meditation writing my gratitude journal spending time with god um and then meals and fitness you know whatever this week i haven't been working out so it's been yoga even though i've never hit my yoga for this week <laughs> i need a yoga accountability buddy and then at the bottom you can check in i don't always fill in that section but i think it's a good section to to fill in um so you basically check in with how you're feeling what you're grateful for and what you are excited about i am very excited about youtube period that's what's gonna be probably every day all right we're gonna get out of here i will see you later or like in literally five minutes <laughs> we about to get on a train So I was supposed to have a meeting at two. I'm definitely running late. I don't even know what time it is right now. What time is it? Two oh eight. Don't know where this train is at. <sighs>
basically NYU's campus and I haven't been here in so long. Being that I'm in this leave of absence for this Masters in Nutrition and Dietetics program there. Anyway, we're here and I'm mad late, so let's get in here. What's up? Hello to the vlog. Hey, what's so up? Okay, so we're gonna redo that because he was on the phone. I guess he had a meeting <laughs> on top of our meeting. So we're gonna start from the beginning. We're gonna pretend like I never went in there. And we're gonna go back in. Oh gosh, it's so weird being here because this is basically NYU's campus. All right, let's go inside. Yo, what's up? That was even loud enough. How you gonna me redo it and then be like whispering <laughs> to the? No, there was the music. Though. Cut, <laughs> cut, cut. All right, guys, meet Guy. What's up? What's up? What's guys, up? meet Guy. <laughs> Or you could call him G apparently, because uh, the person on the phone was calling him G. Yeah, so. yeah, I got many many aliases. Okay, guy, what do you do? Studio manager for a sports company. <laughs> That's not what I meant. He's my producer. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You want me to say it? <laughs> Wait, no, no. We gotta practice. <laughs> this is not good. This is poor. <laughs> okay, so basically. I came to the day job to see what happens at the day job so I can figure out, like, I don't know, just to, you know, to okay, support. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. To support right. the fan. All right, so, I am a director, producer. I work with her, amazingly, to create content. Um, this is the day job. This is the capital to support the dream, though, you know? Gotta have a capital. Because, because we're dream chasing, right? Exactly. Exactly. Applying right. conviction this year too. Like that. 2023 is personal. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna go on a tour of this sports facility, fitness facility. Let's see. Yeah. Alrighty. So this is the studio. Alright, this is where you get your. Wow. Alright. Got your trays, treadmills. What I like about these treadmills is that um bouncy so it's good on the knees as you can see so when you run in it doesn't feel like your leg is like smashing on the floor mm -hmm. treadmills aren't really that good to be running on but those ones amazing got the rowers not much of a rower but i tried it the other day and uh people who do rowing you respect them i respect them a lot, <laughs> them a, lot a lot and I was doing it wrong at that, and then when I got corrected, I was like winded. <laughs> then you got the floor area, um, the floor, like free weights and things like that, pretty self-explanatory. Um, so how it works is a three-station setup um, in an hour. So like you kind of go through, through each one. Yeah, that's it. Welcome to Makasa. <laughs> <laughs> Low-key give me PTSD from when I used to work at the, my other studio. <laughs> because the light was like that like it but this is like technically this is orange but our light was red but you know light yeah, it yeah, ends yeah, up looking yeah. basically the same so like i'm just like oh i remember this feeling i don't like the light going downstairs we've gone downstairs yeah still we're still a work in progress you know what i mean got a little staff studio right here um, i'm gonna get some couches in there some tvs in there you know wow gotta live it up <laughs> then, we got the bathroom, you know what I mean? We got the lockers. Then we got the showers. Showers is calm. Wait, why your voice changed in the basement? <laughs> why you have the New York voice on? You know what I mean? We got the lockers. <laughs> oh, no, to be honest, though, like, it just came out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, then you got the, the dry bar. Then you got the the what? Dry bar. I don't know why they're uh, pulling dry bar. I think because like they can blow dry their hair here. You know what I mean? If you could, after the workout you shower, you know what I'm saying? Just you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's really it. That's that's our studio. Oh so <laughs> Yes, everything is going. Yeah, man, this is everything is for the blog. Everything's for the blog. Yeah, we got our merch. Okay, okay, merch. Members only though. You know what I'm saying? We, we buy some. You got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We getting set up. We doing good. We doing good. We doing good. So now the real reason. 
<laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> the real reason that I'm here is because we're having a meeting, but the, the, um, what, is it, what do you call this? The job that funds the dream? Yes. The job that funds the dream, that Loki hijacked, capital. Loki hijacked the meeting. <laughs> yeah, hijacked the meeting. So, so here we are. Actually though, we never told them how we met. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, so I was at another location, another gym. I'm not gonna talk about that. <laughs> The gym that shall not be named. And um, she was working out, and I approached her because I'm like, I need some some personal trainers at the time, and I'm saying, and I'm like, let me see if she's a trainer or whatever. And you should have seen her face when I when I was. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was I, like, I, yeah. I was I, like, the thing, my motto since like literally 2017 is, I'm not a trainer unless Rihanna is asking. <laughs> Does that Rihanna need a that. if Rihanna needs a trainer? Yes. If not, then no. I don't know. So <laughs> I was kind of I was like, damn, like um, I wanted her to be a trainer because I knew if I had her as a trainer, I could really kill it. But we ended up talking some more, and then she was like, she wanted to be a content creator, and I was like, that's crazy. With the YouTube into, focus. Yes, yeah, YouTube focus. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was in the I was in the like making content, video content also. So I was like, all right, well, if we can't do the fitness stuff, let's, let's see what's up with the um, video content. And we had a meeting like at a, what was that taco place? Mexi um, Q. Yeah. Yeah, we went to Mexi Q, we talked. We were like in a lot of alignment. And we knew that this year was the year that we were gonna start shooting a lot of content, taking our stuff to, to the next level. And here we are. <laughs> Applying with conviction. Yeah. That's the listen. model. That's the, listen. All right, yeah. So really quickly, uh, we were talking also. We were like, yo, 2022, we had four, what's that? Retrogrades. Four. Mm. If you don't believe in astrology, then well, don't, don't not watch. You kind of want the views. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just, right. just, just be uh, open-minded. Yeah, be open-minded. But yeah, it was four. And what retrogrades, the main thing is it's about like reflections and things like that. You kind of like... Um, start assessing things that happened in your past. You you might either reach out to somebody from your past or somebody from your past might try to reach out. It doesn't have to be just relationships, it could be anything. Um, and it, it, the communication is always off in general. So like to have four retrogrades last year, it was rough for a lot of people. So my whole thing is I was saying that that happened for a reason. So for 2023, I feel like a lot of people are coming into this year with a lot of lessons, like a lot of lessons, a lot of lessons. And this is the year to apply it, right? Um, a lot of times we, we're like, yo, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? This year, you kind of, I feel like everybody knows exactly what they have to do. So right. we, were, we were saying like, we're going we're gonna to deem this year the year of conviction. Like everything we do, we apply with conviction. So like every single thing that we want to do, there's no second guessing it. That's what we're supposed to do. Like we know it at this point. So yeah, right. we got to get that on the shirt. I literally was like, yo, <laughs> who's buying the merch? You know Apply with conviction, dream chasers, because you already know it's the dream chasers. I haven't decided if it's like, if we're going to be a gang, a squad, or a crew, but I kind of, I really like crew in general. I usually Let's go crew, crew to avoid any um... dream chase, chasers crew. Yeah, DCC. That's lit. I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so while we're here, um, yeah. Let's talk about. Should we tell them what we're working on in a sense, or I don't. Know. Yeah. Okay. Cause, cause, like, yeah. Cause I feel like what I really want for my channel too is like as much transparency as possible. Mm -hmm. And I think it's even more like I think it's even more interesting when like you know if you have to hide information like let's say you're like working with like a different entity or whatever mm -hmm. and they're like oh like you know you can't talk about it until X Y Z cool but like. It's kind of cool for them to like hear about it and then see it later. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole point of the channel. It's like we're going from zero to hero. So you're seeing me now, like, yeah. All right. okay. <laughs> and then, you know what I'm saying? When I get to like that point, like when I've ascended, you're not gonna be like, wow, I wonder like what she was doing like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, all that time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, what did life look like? What were the type of things she was like? thinking about you know what i'm saying but you're like looking at me just like living lavishly it's like no i'll be living like that but there's gonna be a record of like everything i did before i got to that point mm. um yeah and it's not saying that i'm not like living well now like i'm very much like supported but it's like i was like telling you the other day i'm like i'm like floating right now it doesn't make sense in like a 
standard practical like worldly logic type of way the way that i'm living like i'm literally getting by off of god so everything you see like down to my apartment mm -hmm. It's not like, yeah, y'all already know. Y'all been seeing my bank account. So you are, like, I'm literally there by the grace of God. There was a time when it wasn't necessarily like that, but because I decided to really step into my purpose and, like, do it in a way where I'm like, yo, I'm just going all in, no safety net, nothing. We just going to, like, going to have to be caught. Like a free fall and then just until you... We're waiting until the point where we get caught. So yeah. So all in all, we say all that to say. <laughs> Long story short. We're gonna tell y'all what we working on. So I was thinking about like what type of content we could start off with. Mm -hmm. um, she was always telling me like things that she wanted to surround her storytelling with. So fitness obviously is one of them. So mm -hmm. I was uh, thinking of doing a video of, you ever, you know that meme? That African meme, why are you running? Why are you running? Maybe. Okay, hopefully you edit it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I found it funny. I never tell you what the idea came from, but this is literally where it came from. Mm -hmm. There's this African um, video. She was running from this guy that she was scamming for money, and he's like seen her. Mm. And he got out. He's like, why are you running? Hey! 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 Why are you running? Why are you running? Yeah? What? You owe me money. You have to give me back my money. Which money? I owe you which money? Oh, because I'm running for you, eh? Now, let me tell you something, Mr. Man. I'm only running because I don't want you to see me that I did not travel, okay? Now that you have seen me, man, do your worst. So nobody understands why she was running because they probably never watched an Hollywood film. Mm -hmm. But that's where it comes from because she, like, basically used him for his money and then, like, ghosted him. <laughs> and then he was driving, he's seen her, and then she started running, like, he's like, why are you running? Anyway, point is, <laughs> I wanted to take that and fit it to what we were doing. So like yeah. we're, 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 we're doing a series of explaining how you end up at this point, right? Mm -hmm. And like, where are you going, right? Yeah. We, we're all going somewhere, and sometimes we lose, like, what's the word I'm looking for? We lose conviction, maybe, I don't know. Like, or like, like, like lose um, the sight. Kind yeah, of. like we lose the vision, right? Yeah. And sometimes we second guess, like, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. And if you've been paying attention, we're not doing that in 2023, though. We know what we're doing, you know what I'm Especially saying? Especially because a lot of times you be thinking that you lost the vision, but you really didn't. You're just caught up in, like, all of the things that kind of would, like, be would like be contrary to what it is you're trying to do do you know what i mean mm -hmm. because there's there's like so many obstacles especially because like usually if you're a visionary and you like see something a lot of times it's so big and it's so like like you're here and it's there right and that this in between mm -hmm. there's a lot of like friction there's a lot of you know what i'm saying like things that will because we're human right, right. and so like at the level of the mind there's always something to like try to distract the mind right like as you're going to this vision but you know that it's there but the mind will try to trick you you know mm -hmm. what i mean yeah no i know exactly what you're saying um and sometimes you just have to keep telling yourself why it is you're doing what you're doing you the know? why the why Hence, we're gonna talk about the why why are you running you get it yeah yeah see what we, what we, <laughs> all right i thought it was a good plan <laughs> I, <think> I, <laughs> <laughs> I get it I, I, I get it. Words. But yeah, so we shot some content. And what we're gonna do is use that to kickstart the Why Are You Running series. And what we wanna do is get other people to tell their story on basically the aggression of them reaching their goals. And I say aggression purposely, because you gotta be aggressive. Right. You gotta really be like relentless like yo this is this is what i want yeah um like last night i saved like eight hours editing to post right. my first vlog of like because i'm posting y'all yeah, know i'm posting every day for february mm. and that was a lot because i'm not that's not the type of person like usually i'm like nope i have to go to sleep but it's crazy like when you're really doing what you're supposed to do you'll have endless energy which i didn't like i've always known that and i've always preached that but i've never fully practiced it and that's the that's the whole like point of walking your purpose when you once you start walking your purpose every little thing that you'd be worried about like oh how am i gonna but if i don't sleep but if i don't and i'm really not a fan of team no sleep like i really believe in sleep but it's crazy the way that like when you're really in full alignment walking in your purpose a lot of the like your human the things that kind of like hold us back as humans or like limit us as humans 
like they kind of fall off a little bit or you have more grace you have more room to like really do what it is that you were made to do you know what i'm saying because like when you're walking your purpose you're really walking in like divine alignment so you start to be able to do things that you're like yo this is like supernatural mm. yeah can i said it better <laughs> <laughs> this is church send out the offering plate because we can use it too, right? <laughs> Facts. Actually, not nah, Daryl. Daryl, you probably watching this. Daryl was like, "Wait, how can I uh, donate to the channel?" So what I'm going to do is I've been researching like how to add things to click links. So if you want to donate, feel free to, cause you already know. You ever be so calm? Please. Cause you already, you already know. These are the type of good people that you would be supporting, mm -hmm, supporting mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. channel. So today we were gonna be talking about, cause there was layers to the video, and we wanted to talk about a voiceover. So there we go. So we we edited two different versions of the video we shot. One was more like a minute long. The other one was like like condensed into like thirty seconds. Yeah. Because some people are not gonna <laughs> not not gonna point the elbow. Some people have short attention spans. <laughs> it's not me. Oh, uh, <laughs> you point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not pointing. No, but, but some there, people short no, 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 no. But if if it's someone like in the crew that's like watching this mm -hmm. they probably don't have a short attention span because this, this is a okay. long video <laughs> okay 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 well but others the others others so we were like yo a minute might be too long so like we jumped down 30 seconds so we're gonna talk about how to do the voiceover and like the two different versions um so the first version the longer one mm -hmm. i was saying like the music it has i don't know if you guys know coaches but he his his beats are like he switches it and then like increases over time. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that should go with the narration of mm. when you hit your epitome of what you're saying, mm -hmm. like the aha moment, the oh, like it should be towards the end and it'll go hand in hand with the music. Yeah. And then people will start feeling that as the music ends. Mm -hmm. The shorter version, it's really quick, maybe two or three sentences, mm -hmm. but it's open-ended. So like it, it leaves people thinking. Yeah. So that's the two that we want to worry about. So, we gotta figure out how to tell your story in like 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Um, that's a lot to think about. <laughs> but, I was looking at as I was talking, I was like, wait, am I losing her or like? No, but there's one guy that I definitely want to know I want to interview. His name is Adam. Well, his name is Adam, but his mm -hmm. Instagram is Adam Runs NYC. Um, so, yeah. But I want to get like, I don't want to just focus on runners too. I want to get like other people, you know, like, even if they've never run in their life, but like, just to really like just really hammer home that point about like what we're running to in a metaphorical sense not mm -hmm, just like because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, people yeah that's why that's really why like i'd be like fitness is so because people get so caught up in the that physical you know what i'm saying and your physicality is very limited like mm -hmm. literally we die at you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. you want to start to get beyond that just so i think you get more out of life like that I agree. Yeah, I just feel like this is getting locked down, so. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this up by saying, why are you running? Put in the comments. <laughs> Put in the comments! <laughs> if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Running late as usual. It is so, so cold. I also only have 6% battery left. So, um, let's pray that it lasts long enough to do what we gotta do. Of course, my camera died, literally. Right after I was like, oh, I hope I have enough juice for like what's left, it died. So what I'm gonna do now is go to sleep. When I came back, I did end up getting the, um, I did end up making the new bank account. So that's good. Um, don't have to worry about no subscriptions coming out when I get my coins or start getting coins, you know? um what else tomorrow is the event so i just want to sleep i did come back i did some editing and stuff <laughs> this is the stuff that that girl is remember i told you that youtube guru she was like make sure you show don't tell but guess what girl my uh camera died so but what i did was like i edited it a little bit and um i don't know i'll update you more tomorrow but basically I made sure that both of my batteries are fully charged, so I don't have to worry about this again. 